Hi everyone, my name is Jacques Sartrunan. In this beginner Python tutorial, we will learn about three ways how to run Python. So we will learn about Python interpreters, run how to run Python in command line, how to use uh, integrated development environment, what are Python scripts and modules, and then we'll end up with notebooks. So what the Python interpreter is, is the software that you need in order to run Python's code and script. So this is what you need to install in, be, in order to be able to run Python. So I have these three articles that you can follow up and the videos uh, to go along to install them. My favorite way is not to use Python like Anaconda, but to use uh, straight the installer. So the first way that you can run Python is through the terminal. So the way to access this is depending on which Python you have installed. So you can have which. Python 3, so in this case I have Python 3, so if it's installed, this is where it is. Otherwise, follow my tutorial on how to install it. And then in order to access Python, you need to use the Python 3 keyword, or Python depending on your version. And then you will see that the Python uh, interactive window just opened, and then you can run Python. So you can say print hello. And then you can say okay, hello, or 1 plus 3, and then you're running Python in order to get out of the Python interpreter, then you can do Control D and you're out of the terminal. So if I want to do print hello, doesn't work. So in this case, you would need to return to the Python shell. Coming back to VS Code, now this is an integrated development environment. So IDE. So an IDE, what it is, uh, it's a software that allows you to become, uh, to give you the tool to do programming. Uh, some IDEs are only used on, for Python. Others are used for many programming languages. Uh, in this case, I'm using VS Code because it's free uh, and it's super convenient for programming. What the IDE provides me is some tool for file management system. It allows me to open terminal. It allows me to work with the interactive window. For example, here I'm in the terminal. So what I can do is Python 3 and I can say, okay, I have Python. So I can do print hello world. And then if I press enter, I, I have to run Python in the terminal but from the integrated development environment here you can run with python scripts uh, or modules so you you'll hear both names sometimes python scripts sometimes modules the difference is that a script is a python file that you run directly and a module is a python file that you import into another in order to run it so here, what I can do is I can say hello.py. So a Python script always has a .py extension at the end. So if I create that new file, I can say print hello world, and then I can save and close this file. So here, if I want to run the Python script, I just go here, I open a new terminal, and there I can say Python 3 hello.py, and you'll see that I just ran the Python code that was in that file. If in the case I want to do a module, so then I can do module.py, and I want to import hello in this case. So here, hello was a script initially, and now it became a module because I'm importing it. So I can just say Python 3, module.py, and I've ran uh, the script that was contained within hello because I imported it. Uh, so this is the way uh, to do it. Bring me, bring me to the next topic, uh, which is what if I want to be more precise here? I can do print hello2. And if I save this again, I do Python3 hello the pi then i print both lines however you we could use the python interpreter in order to be able to ju just run this line by line so for instance if i press command shift command enter or sorry shift and so here if i press shift enter then i open the 
the Python interactive shell. And now you can see that I just ran line by line. So it, I, instead of running both lines, such as like this, I just selected one line, shift enter, and then I print a single line. So the Python interactive shell is also useful here in order to run Python code. One last option to run Python code here is to use notebook. So the difference between a notebook and a pile is that uh, nb.ipy notebook. So the first, the file extension is different. So if I do this, I created this. I have a notebook that I can run Python code. So this is interesting because the notebook allows you to run line by line. But not only that, it allows you to create documentation. So you could say my title here. So if I come back here, I can document my code in a better way using a notebook. And it allows me to kind of do some development by running line by line. One thing you cannot do with a notebook, however, is to say python3 nb.ipy notebook. Because if you want to do this, nothing happens because it's not the same environment. You're not calling the, the, the notebook file. So if you want to run it from the terminal, you absolutely need to use the .py extension. So this brings me to the end of this beginner Python tutorial. Help me by subscribing to this channel and stay tuned for my upcoming course on Python SEO. Uh, I will cover this and much, much more. Uh, you can follow me on my blog on jcschwinar.com or YouTube or Twitter or even LinkedIn. Feel free to reach out and discuss whenever you want. Thank you very much and see you next time.